What's up guys? Uh, I got an overview for you today. I'm going to try to make this really quick because I just got this knife yesterday and I want to get as much use out of it as I can before I do the review. Um, I got new lights. I'm going to have to get better lights. It's still not what I want, but it's better than it was before. So what do we got here? Woo! Sorry, my hand had a weird chemical reaction so it's all fucked up but it's getting better it's getting better just avert your eyes okay avert your eyes let's wipe this bad boy off real quick so what do we got here we got the devo knives growler i'm gonna be real honest with you guys when i first saw this design i was like eh, uh, why why like why though why that's what i thought i was like okay that's what i'm steering clear of i don't want it I'm just not interested in that belly and the blade shape and stuff. Um, but when I got it in hand, I was like, whoa, I really like those ergos. I like how this swells upwards a bit, really locks it into your hand back here and up here. I mean, and you got enough. It's not as dramatic as I thought. You got enough to where you can do, you know, draw cuts and stuff, cardboard and paper, just fine. Um, it's just those longer cuts. I noticed when I was messing with it that it starts to try to pull away from you because of that belly. But again, that's that's not a big deal. Um, this is not an Evo copy. I had an Evo. I've, I've heard that said, which is weird. I mean, that's a stretch even for those people, the copy people, because it's... I could, I mean, at least with the stout, it was like the similar toucan blade shape, at least. At least it had the similar toucan blade shape. I guess that's a similar blade shape, kind of. To me, it just, it's not, though. Like, I had the Evo, I used the Evo, uh, the Ergo's in hand, the blade, it's just, it's just a different knife. It's just very, very different, um. But yeah, it's a wide, it is a wide blade, I guess, and it does have a belly, and, you know, that makes it the Evo, then I guess it's the Evo, you know? I think it looks more like my belly, but whatever. Um, but this knife was inspired, there there are inspirations for this knife from another knife, it's not a copy. Uh, this might surprise people, but it's inspired by um, the belly, at least, is inspired by the Benchmade Hidden Canyon fixed blade. I think it's the Hidden Canyon. Um, so I thought that was really cool when Kev told me that. I was like, oh, okay. Oh, okay, I can see that with the belly. Um, that being said, this would actually probably make a really good skinning knife. Get your finger right up there. I got a lot of buddies that hunt. I've sold them skinning knives before. Uh, when I first got into knives, mainly I was doing fixed blades. Uh, bushcraft, hunting knives, stuff like that. Um, I mean, I live up in the Redwoods, and we got property down south that we'd hunt on and stuff. So, yeah, Micarta, 14C28N. I mean, this probably would make a really good skinny knife. It's it's about as big as I'd want for a skinny knife, though, just to the point where I can get my finger right at that tip and really guide it in. Um, so that's kind of cool. I don't think that's the point of this knife, but Hey, if you're a hunter out there or something, test it out. It's going to be like, what, 80 bucks? Why not? Test it out. It's a good steal. Um, pretty easy to sharpen up. And, uh, yeah. I just, you know, happy accident, maybe. Maybe. Um, I really like these Micarta scales. Obviously, this one's been used a lot. I'm like the last guy to get it. Uh, I'm the last one. I'm just happy I got it at all, man. And I got the, the buzz in, too. And then I got... Um, the mash coming, so that's really cool. Uh, but yeah, ergos are killer on this thing. Just just killer. The one little issue I had was with this hole. So if you get your finger too far up in there, because it's such a big hole, it'll catch. But as long as you don't let it get all the way up in there, it, oh my god, the detent, the action. Woo, really good. Better than I thought it'd be, actually. Especially on a budget knife, like... Or a budget version of the knife, I guess. Um, definitely feels like more than an eighty-dollar knife to me. Um, solid lockup, no lock rock. This thing that the the clip has good retention. Um, 
So it doesn't move around the pocket or anything. It's just super easy to pull out. It's kind of weird. Um, it feels like it's loose, but then it's not loose. So yeah, take that for what it is. It's a preference thing, but it does securely stay in your pocket. It doesn't slide around or anything. Um, yeah, 14C28N. When I got it, it was, uh, it was dull. Maybe it's still dull. Yeah, no. I just touched it up a little bit. I need to touch it up more. Obviously, a lot of guys had their hands on this puppy. A lot of guys were using it, which is good. They should be, you know. Scratched up nice. Solid still. Still solid lockup and passed around a lot. Um, so, yeah, I was not going to get in on this. But now I am. I am definitely buying one of these. I definitely recommend this knife. It's a little different, but I really do like it. Um, so yeah, buy it, don't buy it. Definitely not a copy. Um, <laughs> oh man, I'll have more on it. I'm going to use it, um, use it, use it. I was using the buzz today when we were, uh, framing a wall to build a little sunroom off the deck and really liking the buzz too. Um, oh, sorry, real quick. You got, if I didn't say this, seven and a half overall, uh, four and a quarter handle, three and a half blade, then like 3.25 cutting edge about roughly. Uh, perfect size basically for me, for EDC. Um, perfect size, love that. Oop, oop. And another plus is this knife, whoops, is actually really good at twirling. I didn't think it would be, but it is, which is awesome bonus for me. So yeah, there's the overview of the Growler, guys. Um, I do recommend it. I am going to get one. I'm going to use my money and buy one when they come. And uh, I'll have the overview of the Buzz up next. And then hopefully within a week, I'll put up a review for both of them. All right, guys. Hope you have a good night. And I am out.